Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is ITS 148. And uh, today I'm going to go over um, uh, programming exercise 12.3. So let me share my screen. And here we are. Uh, we're going to create this little ATM machine thing here. And uh, we're supposed to use this account class in this, in this exercise here. Uh, however, if we look probably looked at this exercise and you see that the uh, uh you know there's no account class here so so i'll show you that real quick and uh what this uh assignment is supposed to do is is uh first of all um it's supposed to uh simulate an atm machine so here, for example, uh, let's it, you, you, we create 10 accounts, one zero through nine, and uh, each of them starts out with a balance of $100. And then the system uh, will prompt the user for an ID. And then, um, uh, and then there's like error checking and stuff. And for uh, a, uh, and then the, once the user enters in an ID, uh, a main, a main menu appears, it looks like this. And um, you're able to check the balance uh, by selecting a one. You're able to um, uh, withdraw money by selecting a two. And if you select a two, it, you enter the amount to withdraw. And then uh, the main menu appears again. And uh, if you enter a three, you can deposit money and uh, if you enter in a four, you exit the main menu and you go back to uh, the line where it says enter an account ID. So um, one thing a little unique in this example is that uh, it, it's an endless loop. So once you start the program, it never stops. And so to stop it, you have to hit the, you have to go control C to, to break out of it. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> so let's get started. Uh, so first of all, let's let's check out this account class. Okay, let me pull this up here, and um, I'm just going to copy over the account class from because uh, I uh, from the uh, the instructor's manual, uh, the instructor's book here, and uh, the account class looks like this. It's just a uh, it's a class uh, you, you can create, you create instances of it. So we're gonna create 10 instances of this account class. And um, uh, it initializes a balance. It's got uh, uh, three internal, um, three internal, uh, three properties, uh, an ID, a balance and, and an interest rate. And uh, it turns out that for this particular problem, we don't need a lot of this stuff. So I'm just going to delete it out. Okay, so it's just the modified uh, reduced account class here. We don't we are dealing with annual interest rate at all. So I'm going to take this out. And uh, we don't really need this. We're never going to need this, although it's not a bad thing to have in there. But I'm just going to take it out anyway, because I'm just going to leave stuff that we're, we, we need for this particular problem. I uh, don't need this. Uh, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Uh, we need a withdraw, we need a deposit, and we don't need this. Okay, so that's a good start. This is the account class. So, um, so from this, we can just start writing our program, and I'm going to do that. I'm not going to bother with any other methods or anything. Inside, I'm just going to write the code straight. So let me make this adjustment here. Okay, so um, so let's start out, and the first thing we're going to do is is we're going to create an array called account accounts equals an array, and then we're going to uh, initialize all these accounts. So I'm going to do four i uh, i is, i is a fine variable in the range of zero to zero to nine, that's how you express that. And I'm going to, um, 
um, append append uh, uh, create instances of this class and append them to this account accounts uh, array. So the way I do that is I just say accounts append. I'm appending to this array here, list or whatever, account. And um, this is the ID. And we have to set up an initial balance. It's defaulted here to 100. I don't think I need to. I'm going to try not uh, putting anything there and see what happens. Okay, so that's, uh, I may have to go back and put it. So, so I'm just going to see if this what happens. Okay, and, and then we're going to be in this endless loop, right? So I'm going to just do while true, endless loop. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user for an account ID. So I would do ID, declare a variable called ID, and I'm going to do an input, enter an account ID. And I'm going to integerize it. Int. There we go. And um, now I, I should check to make sure it's a valid account. Hmm. Um, so account zero through nine, huh? Hmm. I'm going to uh, do this. Uh, I'm going to do. Um, plus one. So I'm actually going to make them from one to 10, instead of from zero to nine. And then um, I'm going to uh, say, uh, if ID is less than one, or ID is greater than 10, then it's an error. So I'm going to say, please print, please enter a valid ID. Okay. Otherwise, we've got a valid ID between one and 10. So I'm going to say um, uh, else. And, uh, and now, now I'm going to have a loop that's going to loop and ask uh, for a um, I'm going to have a loop which asks for a, a number from one through from one to four, uh, and so to do that, let me um, I'll put this over here. Else, um, a loop. Uh, so I'm going to have a loop, and the um, the condition, the while condition, is going to be a variable called done. Uh, so I'm going to start out with done equals false because we're not done. And I'm going to say while not done, do. And so I'm going to print, I'm going to print out this main menu here and I'm just going to be, be real uh, fancy here. And I'm just going to put it all in one line. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to have a return line feed. Then I'm going to say main menu. And then I'm going to do a return. And then I'm going to say uh, one. Check balance. And that's going to be my, that's going to be the first thing in the menu. I'm going to do a two. Uh, withdraw. And I'm going to do a new line and I'm going to say three is deposit deposit. And then I'm going to do another line feed and I'm going to say four exit. And that's it. That's good. And uh, then I'm going to ask the user for a choice. And I'm going to say that's going to be an integer input and it's going to be input and I'm going to ask enter a choice. Okay, and then I'm gonna to have to check to see if it's valid. So I'm gonna say if choice is less than one or choice is greater than four, then we need to print 
Wrong choice, buddy. Please try again. All right, I think that's all I need to do. That's gonna work. Okay, um, and then else, uh, we're gonna have uh, if uh, um, we don't have a, there's no kind of switch statement or uh, anything like that in, in this language, a case statement or, so we just have to do, uh, you know, if elif, elif, elif. And so first thing is gonna be um, if choice equals one, Uh, and that's going to be um, something. Print. And I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to do copy this four times. One, two, three, four. And this should be LF. 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 And this is two. And this is three. And this is. It's going to be this last one will always be four, so I can just do else. And I'm just going to put a you chose, and I got to leave some stuff for you to do. You chose one, you chose two, two, you chose three. And uh, four, I'm just gonna. I don't think I need to do it. For four, I, I, I'm. I want to set done to true because four means we're exiting, which means we're done with this inner loop here. So I can just say done equals true. And then uh, this while loop will be done, and it should go back up to this thing, and it should ask. Yes. Okay. So. I'm going to try this to see how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to save it. And uh, command prompt here. And I'm going to say this is uh, in my test py on my desktop. So I'm on my desktop here and I can do Python test.py. Uh, line 35. Which, oh, look at that. Okay, nice to see what it you do when you get an error. Let's save it. Try this again. Up arrow. Enter an account ID. So um, this has been executed. So every account ID. So so I'm going to try zero. What happens? Bung. Oh, that's this one. A little bit more interesting here now. Uh, it's in a tight loop. So to get out of the loop, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold the control key down and press the C button. It's got to be on that one. And that exits, exits it. Okay, I'm going to start it over again. Up arrow, right, enter an account idea. Zero should be wrong. Uh, one should be fine. So check the balance, or should be $100. I'm going to enter a one. Oh, I just said you chose one. And if I do two, says you chose two, if I do three, oops, three, three, enter, you chose three, and four should exit me. Uh oh, I'm gonna try five, five, wrong choice, buddy. Okay, just do four, and uh, we've exited, and now it comes back to asking for another count ID. So if we do a count ID 10, that should work. The balance is, oh, it doesn't tell us the balance. Okay, if we, I'm, I'm gonna do exit four, and if I do account ID 11, it says wrong. Okay, good. Uh, all right, so let me uh, break out of here, control C. And uh, now here, here we're gonna wanna um, use the methods, okay? So are they the, uh, the, the um, methods of the class? So to get, our 
our um, balance, we're just going to call, uh, we have an account, we have this account ID, so it's going to be um, uh, balance equals accounts. It's because we've declared an array here called accounts, and, and it's an array of, of, of objects of this class. So, uh, and we are in, we're using an ID one, whatever the ID is, it's this array element and we wanna use the um, get balance method. And I think this is all we have to do. And then we can print balance. Uh, your account balance is, is, uh, Uh, I want to put a, uh, I guess I can use the, um, um, your account balance is comma, I'll use the format, format, and this is what I want to Oh, this is a different kind of format. Well, this is fine format. Uh, accounts, about oh, balance, balance, uh, comma, and I can print it out like um, 0.2f. That's that works. So this textbook has us do it. All right, I'm gonna save this and run it again. See what this looks like. Uh, two, three, check balance, press a one, and it says your account balance is 100. Well, that's nice. Okay, uh, so that's one. Now for two, uh, we need to, um, we need to ask the user how much uh, to withdraw. This is withdrawing. Two is, two is withdraw. Okay, so first we got to ask the user. Um, oh, it's it's an input. We're going to input a value. So um, amount equals, uh, and we're going to have an input. Enter an amount to withdraw. And uh, it's got to be um, floated, F L O A T. Okay. Just a second here. I want to make sure that I am. Hmm. I want to make sure that I'm recording. I am recording, all right. Yes, I apologize for it. Must be recording. Uh, so, um, enter an amount to withdraw, and we are floating this. So let's do this float. And so we have input an amount, and all we need to do now is we're going to use this. Um, oh, we should check to make sure the balance. Uh, so I'm going to leave that for you to do. We've got to get the balance. And we got to make sure that the um, amount is less than the balance. Um, so you need to uh, get the uh, get the balance equals something, and then you need to do something like um, I'm I'm just commenting this now because I want you to enter this code in. You do something like if. Um, amount is uh, greater than balance, then you want to uh, print, uh, uh, print uh, amount is too large, something like that. 
otherwise, you can, I, I'm commenting this out. You, you don't comment this. You actually put real code there. Uh, otherwise, you're going to um, do this thing, withdraw. So you do uh, um, accounts. And it's, it's this one, ID dot withdraw and you need to this is gonna it wants an amount to value so it's something like um, parentheses amount yeah and that's all you need to do uh, for that one uh, for three uh, we're adding we're adding okay so uh, you want to do we never check to see if these numbers are positive, but, but we don't have to worry about that. For three, we're, we're adding. So we can just say, um, um, amount, again, we're, let's, let's get an amount uh, equals, um, uh, it's uh, gonna be a floating point number and we're inputting enter an amount to deposit. And here, we, all we need to do is, um, uh, let's assume it's gonna be a positive number. We would just do this deposit thing. And so we go, uh, again, it's uh, accounts ID deposit amount. So we, are, we, ask, we ask for the amount and we deposit it. So uh, I'm going to test this one more time just to test if this works, and then you can you can finish it after this. Okay. So let me um, go over here. Oh, let me save it. Let me uh, Control C to get out of here, and I'm going to run this again. And I'm going to enter an ID five, and let's check the balance. One hundred dollars. Uh, let's try withdraw. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything uh, because we don't have we aren't we don't have this code filled in. Uh, you know, you got to fill this code in here. You got to get here. You got to get the balance the same way you did it here. You got to take these these comment things out. You got to make sure the indentation is correct. Okay, but let's try deposit uh, three. And I'm gonna deposit uh, $59. Okay, great. Let's do check the balance. Ah, 159. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there and you should be able to finish this up. It's not, it's not very complicated now. It shouldn't be complicated at all. We've got the checks in there uh, and uh, hope this helps. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.